What up, tubers? Zeltrax Millennium here, back with a brand new video review. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Now, when you think of a good cartoon show from back in the old days, what would you immediately think of? Power Rangers? Transformers? Thundercats? Sonic the Hedgehog? I do remember all these shows, but one show that was cancelled way before its prime should have gotten its recognition, and I really want the series to get a full DVD release. Even though it did, but that DVD release was kind of But yeah, the subject of today's video is... SWAT CATS, BABY! So yeah, I took a... F-14 Tomcat model kit and turned it into the Turbo Cat from SWAT Cats the Radical Squadron. Now let's take the let's take the jet off the base because that's a little pain in the butt. See the stand is a little basic. That's where it plugs into the bottom of the jet. But yeah, the big star of this video is the Turbo Cat. And I recently found on the internet that the Grubman F-14 Tomcat was the closest analog to the Turbo Cat as we were ever going to get. I was able to find one at my local Fred Meyer, which by the way is a Oregon based store. So you're not going to be able to find it anywhere else. But yeah. I custom painted the jet to look like the Turbo Cat because I wanted it to be a, a, a SWAT Cats tribute. So yeah. I sprayed it flat black and added in the nose cone, which is uh, forever blue. The intakes here with the uh, testers, testers gold. The back turbines for the back turbines of the jet, I painted them red with the insides uh, chain mail from Games Workshop. And again with the uh, Krylon red. I painted the canopy. And also, the reason why it's so murky on there is because I foolishly foolishly forgot to leave the masking tape on when I sprayed the white on, or sprayed the red on. And um, I'm probably going to cut it away right here, so that way you can see the inside of the cockpit and what the pilots look like. I painted them up to look like the actual SWAT cats. The one in the back is a razor, and the one in the front is T-Bone. I also painted in the um, computer modules that they would sit in when they were when they were in the jet, and I also added a little uh, scorpion green uh, Games Workshop paint for the uh, computer screens. So yeah, this this jet was really awesome. Um, not just the model kit, the Turbo Cat in the show as well. It had an amazing amount of weapons! I mean, can you imagine the amount of weapons? Octopus missiles, chainsaw missiles with two chainsaws added to the missiles. Oi! It's like, there was no end to the amount of weapons the Swat Cats could come up with! And Razor's the smart one of the br smart one of the operation. Jeez! But, yeah. The special gimmick of the uh, model kit's jet, of the jet model kit, is that you can flap the wings in and out for, this is like, this is what it's like for when it's uh, flying. However, when you push it all the way back, that's when it enters supersonic speeds. I normally play it like that, because that's how I normally saw the, that's how I normally saw the turbo cap fly in. So let's take the stand, stick it in there. I had to use some tape in order to make the uh, stand stick. So yeah, whoops. There we go. And uh, the reason why I haven't reviewed this, this, some Sonic figures that I got recently is because Sonic won't stand up. I got him to stand up fine now, but I, it's becoming increasingly hard. So, if you want me to review the Sonic figures I recently got, which was Sonic, Shadow, Tails, and uh, Silver, let me know. So, yeah. Zeltrax Millennium saying good night and good luck. And long live the SWAT Cat!